think, like, realistically, Devin, the, the Flames are not going to be at this pace. And and I, I put out the poll, and I think maybe we'll go into this. I are we concluding that the Battle of Alberta is the the is going to is the first place? How am I wording this? Make sure my brain is with my mouth. Okay, we're together. Is the Pacific Division going to come down to the Battle of Alberta? In other words, are the Flames and Oilers going to be battling for first place in the Pacific Division? As of right yeah. now, yes. Uh, like Calgary has two games uh, on the Edmonton Oilers. They have uh, Calgary has one point up. Uh, they have 27 points. Edmonton is 26. Uh, we thought that Vegas would be up there right now. Uh, they they are four points back at Edmonton, five points back at Calgary, um, and it's it. We we thought I like personally. I thought that Vancouver would be better than they are. Uh, and they are obviously aren't. So you have Anaheim, um, who you know Dylan Johnson is a massive fan of, with Troy Terry being on a talk about a, a ridiculous fucking trend here. Uh, Troy Terry uh, having has he has he gotten a, a game without a point? This will be the first one tonight. Will be his first one that he did not get a point. There you go. It's it's absolutely insane. Talk about trends that are uh, will be broken, and I'm not saying that the Flames are going to go on this fucking tear because obviously their uh, their their away record right now is nine two and two. Their home record is two one and three. Uh, they just got they got to do better at home, um, and like it's 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 absolutely insane. So uh, going back to the original question, I believe as of right now. They will be battling for the number one stop, spot in the Pacific unless Vegas goes on a tear. Because otherwise, I, I don't see Anaheim sustaining this clip. And if they do, goddamn, good on them. But uh, if we're looking at history, history is not kind to Anaheim right now as far as uh, wh- where they finished in the past, I don't even know, uh, let's say five, six years. The way I look at it is... Vegas is the is your real realistic option that could throw a wrench into the Battle of Alberta being the battle for the Pacific Division, but they are battling injuries. They don't they they still missing William Carlson. Um, we don't know how healthy Mark Stone is. We don't know how healthy Max Pacioretty is, even though they're playing. Um, they don't have Shea Theodore. They don't have Alec Martinez. It's and they don't have their top their their their, their top line center in Jack Eichel until late in the season. March April. Um, yeah. Yeah. So at the earliest, right? So I look at that and I, I honestly think it is it is going to be Calgary Edmonton for the battle of the for the division. Chris? I mean, I don't disagree. I, I, I think like the California teams are definitely being a surprise as far as whether they actually can push for top of the Pacific, I think might be pushing it. But uh, yeah, I, I would suggest don't count out Vegas if they can get back to even close to healthy. But yeah, as of right now, like Dev said, it, it, it's hard to argue against that. It will come down to the Battle of Alberta. By the way, the Flames have not won a game against the Western Conference this year. They're, I think, o oh, two and three, I think, which is that's they're all of their wins have been against the Eastern Conference, so uh, that's fascinating. I and but you look at the Oilers, and other than McDavid going one on five with everybody and just blowing by them, <laughs> I honestly don't know how they're doing it. Like, like you take McDavid away, the Oilers have not have don't have Darnell Nurse in their lineup. Stuart Skinner is making. What 40 52 out of 54 saves or whatever he's done here with and Mike Smith is on LTIR. He's not coming back for a while. Um, no idea with this defense. I, I have no idea how they're I have no idea how other than well, it's Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisidel. I, I it's going to be also difficult for them to keep up the pace that they're at unless McDavid and Dreisidel just keep scoring at will and it's seven six and everybody's happy. Okay, um, I am not. I, I, uh, I don't think Anaheim is out of this at all. Though I still, I, I just, 
they're a young team that have no idea what the hell is going on. And they're not, they just, I don't think they're going to go anywhere. I think that they're going to be, they're going to be sticking around for a while. 